Welcome to my channel again. Today we are going to determine the value of sine, cosine and tangent for angles in quadrants 2, 3 and 4 based on the corresponding reference angle. How to determine the value of sine, cosine, and tangent for angles in quadrant 2, 3, and 4? First step, determine the corresponding reference angle. You learned already what is corresponding angle, right? After this, determine positive or negative sign for sine, cosine and tangent for angles in quadrant 2, 3 and 4. To know further, let us look at example 4. Determine the value for each of the following based on the corresponding reference angle. A. Sine 104 degree. Still remember how to find the corresponding reference angle? 104, the corresponding reference angle is 76. So we write like this. Okay, this angle 4 in second quadrant. So in second quadrant, you know, to find the corresponding angle is 180 degree minus theta. So 180 degree minus 104 degree. And after this, you need to refer to the angles in quadrant 2 here. Angle in quadrant 2 only sign theta positive. So, here this is positive. So, positive sign 76 degree. So, the answer is 0 0.9703. How to obtain 0 0.9703? You just key into your calculator sign 76. Then you press equal, you will obtain this number. B cos 208.2 degree. Okay, again, first you need to determine the corresponding reference angle. So corresponding reference angle based on this question is in the quadrant, which is 208.2 degree minus 180 degree because we only need this angle then all, uh, always remember the corresponding reference angle always at s axis okay so here cos 208.2 degree minus 180 degree and next, you need to determine positive or negative sign for cos in the quadrant. So in the quadrant here, cos is negative. How to memorize? Okay, now we have the acronym add sugar to coffee. So add sugar to coffee. So first quadrant all positive, second quadrant only sign positive. The quadrant only tangent positive and fourth quadrant only cos positive. Okay, so now in third quadrant cos is in negative sign. And we obtain negative cos 28.2 degree. Okay, so you can write down negative first, then you key into your calculator cos 28.2 degree, you will obtain 0.8813. So 
So the answer for cos 208.2 degree equals negative 0.813. How about C? Tangent 318 degree 17 minute. Okay, so this angle for in fourth quadrant because more than 270 degree. Okay, so how to find the corresponding reference angle? This one, this and we need to find this angle. Must remember corresponding reference angle always lie at the S axis. So the whole turn is 360 degree. Okay, so tangent 360 minus 318 degree 17 minutes. After this, we determine in fourth quadrant tangent positive or negative. Yeah, tangent is negative, only cos positive. So you put negative here. Negative tangent 41 degree 43 minutes. And again, you key into your calculator. Negative, you just copy down. Key in tangent 41 degree, 43 minute. You will obtain 0 0.8915. So the answer is negative 0 0.8915. Now we are going to learn how to determine the value of sine, cosine, and tangent for angles in quadrants 2, 3, and 4 corresponding to angles 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. Example 5. Without using a scientific calculator, Determine the value for each of the following based on the corresponding reference angle. A. Cos 150 degree. Before you answer this question, actually, you need to know the special triangle sine. Normally, I memorize sine 30 degree and tangent 45 degree. Sine 30 degree equals 1 over 2. So you draw a right angle triangle with 30 degree. Opposite side is 1 and hypotenuse is 2. So adjacent side, the length equals 2 square, square root of 2 square minus 1 square equals square root of 3. Okay, how about tangent 45? Tangent 45 equals 1. So, this one you memorize. Tangent 45 equals 1. So, here you draw 45. You write 45 here. And, you know, tangent is opposite over adjacent to one, right? So, opposite side. 1, adjacent side also 1. So how about hypotenuse? Square root of 1 square plus 1 square. So equals square root of 2. Okay, now we start to answer A. Cos 150 degrees. Okay, so you need to find the corresponding reference angle. For cos 150 degree, the angle for in second quadrant.
So you need to find the corresponding reference angle here. So which is 180 minus 150 degree. Okay, after this, you need to find in second quadrant where the cos is positive or negative. So add sugar to coffee. So in second quadrant, only sign positive. So you need to put negative sign at the front. Negative cos 30 degree. So without using calculator, you refer to this special triangle, cos 30. So you know cos is ka. Means adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent side is square root of 3. And hypotenuse is 2. And don't forget, copy down the negative. Okay, so now we try to answer B. Tangent 225 degree. Again, you must know this angle is in which quadrant. So, if I draw the simple quadrant here, this is more than 180, so maybe it's here, angle like this, right? 225. So, you need to find the corresponding reference angle, which is here. So, means that tangent 225 degree minus 180 degree okay so next you need to know in third quadrant tangent is positive or negative so add sugar to coffee yeah tangent positive so two to five minus 180 equals 45 degree. So tangent 45 degree is equals 1. C. Sine 300 degree. Again, 300 is in which quadrant? Yeah, in fourth quadrant. So I just estimate angles here to here, 300 degree, and corresponding angle always at S as it's here. So this one. So you know whole term is 360. So to find corresponding angle, 360 minus 300 degree. And now we start to determine positive or negative at sugar to coffee. So in fourth quadrant, cos only positive. So I need to put negative sign here. Equals negative sign 60 degree. And based on the triangle here, Sine 60, here is 30, 60 is here. So now opposite angle of 60 degree is this side. Understand? So this side is square root of 3. Don't forget put negative there. Eh? over hypotenuse is 2. That's all for today.
please like and share my video to your friends. Thank you.